Thank you, Phil. They say time flies when you're having fun, so starting year 30 here at Lafayette and year 17 as the head coach, uh, must be having a great time, to say the least. Uh, again, uh, always excited about this time of the year. Uh, as Phil said, we're in the uh, about the mid midway point um, a preseason camp. We have our second of two um, lengthy scrimmages scheduled for this Saturday, 10:15 uh, start with uh, with officials. We did uh, had about 70 plays uh, last weekend. Uh, we plan on a few more um, uh, this Saturday, along with special teams. Uh, and at that point, uh, then we'll sit down and and really evaluate personnel. Really haven't even had a personnel meeting with the staff yet, which is a little unusual two weeks into camp, but purposely I did it that way that, you know, get two solid weeks in, um, two scrimmages, enough film evaluation, um, you know, so we, so we know where we're at. Um, you know, small but strong senior group. Uh, hard to believe this group, uh, you know, is at the end of their last year already. And uh, the interesting thing is they uh, they certainly know how to win a championship. They, they, they all have a championship ring, so they, they've been there. Uh, they know what the great feeling is of winning a big game on a national uh, audience uh, in Yankee Stadium. And they have the also uh, good fortune, call it what you want, uh, you know, one of the toughest seasons certainly uh, that we've had in, in my career. But that just means they know how to get knocked down and get back up, which is really uh, what our great game is about. So they've had the whole range of experiences. And certainly our goal is to win the Patriot League Championship. Now, there's enough negativity floating around about our schedule. I'm here to tell you this is the best schedule I think yet. It's very challenging, uh, to say the least, uh, but it's a strong schedule, uh, one that we're looking forward to uh, very much. But right now, the only thing in our mind is Central Connecticut State, uh, two weeks from tomorrow. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do, but uh, we're getting there. Very encouraged by the, the attitude and effort and the enthusiasm that uh, we've been out there with. We were, we're through a number of practices. I'm, Happy to say we started with 80, and we generally are practicing with about 78 daily. Here or there, you're going to have some, some tweaks in those things. But for the most part, knock on every piece of wood I can get a hold of, um, staying healthy. I, I did uh, spend an awful lot of time changing our schedule. All Sundays are off during camp. That's something that's never happened. I think that's been an advantage. We've had to change times uh, for the start of practice due to the, probably the, the worst uh, heat heat wave since it's in my time in terms of consecutive days, but that's fine. We got enough in, we're getting work done, you know, and being smart about it. And uh, we got uh, we got a busy two weeks coming up um, to finish this thing up. But uh, uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, the group's coming together. Uh, we're a lot different than we were two weeks ago. Um, we talk about every day going out there and, and getting better. And I know this group, again, started with a ring and they'd like to leave here with a ring. and. Uh, you know, that's kind of the way it goes. So uh, that being said, is that about as less as I could say, Phil, open it up to questions and hopefully they're not too difficult. I'll be available for interviews. Our players are available. Um, they've got, uh, we have treatments uh, starting at two uh, to four, then they've got four o'clock meetings. So there is some time, um, you know, to talk to them. And that's really who, and that's who you should be talking to. It's about their season, their year. Uh, these guys, uh, they'll tell you the way it is. So that being said, welcome me again. Look forward to spending the time with you as we always do. And see you every Tuesday for lunch. And uh, we'll look forward to it. So that being said, we'll open it up to questions, difficult or easy, or ones I refuse to answer. Well, you know, again, in the spring, uh, it started there when we, you know, didn't wear shoulder pads. They never came out of the equipment room, and we went in shells. And I thought it was uh, it was really, really good, uh, particularly probably eight or nine guys that wouldn't have been able to participate if you practiced another way. So we're real happy with that. I said all along we'd get into camp, and there was going to be contact, and there has been, my goodness, already. We've had probably well over 100 uh, live scrimmage plays, including tackling. I mean, that's what – I consider it, you know, full live, but, uh, and we also monitor, you know, certainly what we're doing. Now there's been segments of, of live work in there all the time too, because, you know, you can tackle those donut tackling things all you want and, and everything else, but eventually you got to play this game to get better. So uh, that's what we're doing this weekend. A lot of guys are going to get reps that might not have much chance uh, 
you know, after that until uh, things open up, and that's why uh, it's important for them to be able to do that. So, you know, a good friend of mine told me a long time ago, you better like your own ideas. So, so far, I like my own idea. Well, I think there's no question. I think we're just about there, not quite where we'd like to be. If you look on my board over there that I stare at uh, every day for, for some part of the day, uh, it's just in the O-line where we have, uh, you know, some depth issues. And we had two guys, that, two freshmen, you know, that, you know, were not um, the walk-on type guys, but uh, good players. And they decide to give it up. One guy lasted 24 hours, one guy lasted three weeks in the summer, and they leave. So. You'd like to be three deep, so you have 15 O-linemen. We started with 12. I think today we practice with 10. Um, that makes things tough, and you got to keep that group. But I think you're, you're definitely seeing the competitiveness out there. We've got freshmen competing and, and really stepping up uh, faster than I thought, and that's, I think, certainly a, a test to that. But like any freshman, these guys will admit when it's freshmen. They come in, they're not strong enough. I don't care who you are, what program you came from, you're not strong enough. And the more you play them early, the obviously there's issues with that, and injury is part of it too. So, um, God rest his soul, Joe Paterno made the statement: uh, for every freshman you start, you lose a game. And we started ten freshmen a year ago, so I don't know, but it did add up. And nothing against freshmen; it's just not being ready, which is why people do it the other way. But I like the way we do it. Got to get ready to go. Well, I think how, how much a year ahead it is. I mean, when we got notice that we were doing it, um, it was late. And we already missed an entire spring and the year before when people are already evaluating those people. By Christmas, we're pretty much finished now. And in January, you're, yes, you're out doing your work, but you're also seeing film and getting transcripts and making evaluations a year in advance. And that's the fastest thing. It's a lot earlier. I think the biggest thing I learned is don't go too fast. The faster you go and kind of rush into this, kind of the, the more mistakes add up. And I think the slower we've slowed down, um, the more accurate. Because again, you only have so many, and it's only going to be so many, and these things are intricate. You've got a lot of people breaking down your door now because these are quarter million dollars plus books. I mean, you know, they're pretty, it's pretty desirable, and especially one of the top schools in the country. I mean, you, and look, look at what we have. I mean, there's people can say what they want, but they don't get any better than Lafayette College. At least we think so. We've been, we've hit all, we've hit, we've hit all levels. I mean, we were up against Syracuse for freshmen to come in this year. I mean, I don't even pay attention half the time. I know who they're offered by and those things. But uh, we just had a commit the other day uh, um, when we were in it against three and four in the top Ivies and three or four teams in our league. And I was amazed they commit this early. Now. I wish we'd get an early signing day because having to babysit these things till the signing day is a very difficult and time consuming and money expense uh, to do, but it is what it is. And we think we do a great job and, 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 and I do with the family and everybody. You make a commitment, you're gonna end up in front of me with your parents and everybody else and we're gonna look each other in the eye and that's binding than any ink or blood or anything else. So. And you hope that the game still isn't being played like everybody does. Make a commitment and keep shopping. I remind people that works both ways. And they got to have some trust. Thank goodness, again, knock on wood, I've only had one of those, and that was last year, and that was only partial, thank God, where somebody leaves you sit. Because when they leave you sit, you don't have anywhere else to go. You know, because everybody else is, you know, said bye-bye to you, so. Well, I'm um, I'm real I'm real excited about our special teams. I, I put not to put any undue pressure on, on Coach McFadden and our staff, but I'm excited about special teams because the athletes that we have and the athleticism. The classes that are coming in are more athletic and they're longer. You know, it's a new thing now. You know, they come in that used to be height, weight. Now it's length, hand size. I mean, it's, it's amazing. But go through recruiting. People are talking about length as much as they are, you know, about height and everything else. So. But a uh, very athletic group, which I think expands the talent and lessens your stars with having to play full-time special teams. That's hard, you know, especially when you're trying to keep people healthy. So I think we've got a lot more people competing for those jobs, and we've done a lot of live blocking uh, in all four phases. Guys are easy. Yeah, 
What a luxury. It's a luxury. And they're both driving Cadillacs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nicer car than the head coach. Yeah, and that doesn't bother me at all. No. <laughs> they're, they're great young men. They both have won games. They got a battle every day. You can't ask for it any better. And they support one another. And they support the young kids. They're good people. Uh, it's a luxury. Um, and we got two weeks to go. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I'll be honest with you right now. I haven't even said this to them, but hey, you know, we know both guys can play and both guys can win. Doesn't get any better than that. So we'll see how it goes. So it's not any, it's not a problem to me. It's a luxury. Um, you know, we've done some little things here or there. Probably by uh, Wednesday, usually ten days in advance, maybe a little sooner. You know, we want to get this day off on Sunday, and we go next week, and then uh, we start that. Uh, we got a shorter day freshman orientation, which is good, and it fell in the day off, so we don't have any practices where we lose a freshman, which is really good. Um, you know, then we, we go to class and we play that Friday. We're going to be leaving on a Thursday, and Friday night here, it's a hootenanny up there on a Friday night, so uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, I know one thing. My back feels a lot better um, walking out there. It's uh, the kids, and that's them. It's, it's different. We just got it to where we want. This is a work in progress with these things, but uh, they were just here again yesterday, and uh, it's really, it's where it needs to be now. Now it's really, really good, and, uh, you know, it was something that we certainly knew we needed, and, uh, you know, I think the players will tell you it's a lot, you know, it's a lot different, a lot easier on your body. You know, uh, Paul, that thing has gone such a different way. And to be honest with you, there's been so much going on. I, I, I'm paying some attention to it, but I just wasn't at this point. I, you know, I just not at this point ready to do it. So it's not a major problem of any type. I'm still watching and looking for leaders. You find things that you don't know about. So I'm very comfortable uh, with probably waiting till the week before the first game at this point. But that's a good question, Paul. I appreciate you asking, and I'm not uncomfortable. They better all be. It's their football team, and they're all captains. They know that. And I expect leadership out of every one of them. Uh, and then everybody else in the team. I, you know, that, that thing carries responsibility, and, and uh, you know, getting named that is one thing, but that doesn't uh, preclude everybody else from standing up and being leaders. You want a ring? You take responsibility. Just like accountability in our eat. That's a huge thing to us. The four qualities that you control every day when you get up out of bed. Your effort, your attitude, your accountability, and your damn toughness. And we got to be a little tougher. We're not quite as tough as we need to be yet, but we're getting there. It's a young football team if you really look at it. I, don't know, I, I look around, some of these guys look pretty bad. The coaches, man, I don't know who they're talking about. <laughs> Calling me old. Some of them can't even walk upright. I don't even tell. Yeah. Yeah. There's no place like home, you know that, and, and uh, uh, certainly happy to, you know, to have that. Um, you go on the road on a Friday night and the place, you know, pretty raucous crowd. We get a little extra time uh, preparation. The kids get some rest to prepare for a Delaware, which, you know, is uh, going to be uh, selected, I think, pretty high in their conference this year with a lot of returning people. It'll be an exciting football game, um, you know, so – and then it goes. I mean, half the time I'm looking. I, I happen to know what the first four are just because I've looked at it. But other than that, the only clock I look at is in the locker room for Central Connecticut State. The rest of it is nothing before that. Let's get it done. Go Pards.